Good day everyone. I hope you're excited about this video because I think many of you waiting for this uh, video. This package is from One Day Savings and I'm so appreciate and grateful for the product they sent me to review for you. Uh, this video will be probably longer maybe than the other because I hope at the end of this video we will do demo with you. Uh, I'm going to pre-record right now unboxing video to showcase what we have in here. And if you are loving it, uh, silicone molds, uh, resin product, then maybe you should stick around and see what we have in here because some product in here are so, so gorgeous. And I cannot wait to start play with resin and hopefully at the end of this uh, video we will see some finish product so that's why I need to pre-record so I can have a time to cure this product and show you some of the finishes so I have in here black piece of paper cardstock 12 by 12 because usually it's hard to see a clear white product on a light backdrop so let's see the number one item Recently they added lots and lots of uh, product with resin molds and I love molds. Of course in here too we have a uh, sea star and a shell because me being a whole summer by the lake, of course lake is not the ocean so I don't have those beautiful shells and <laughs> this kind of molds but it still you know represent a water that I like to be around and I thought this can create beautiful project even for decorating my trailer on the inside to create this little thing that kind of I feel like I would be like by the ocean maybe somewhere and what I see already this is actually good quality molds first of all this is nice and sturdy plastic or uh, silicone uh, some of them has a softer maybe even thinner but this one is good plus they have those grids on the back which is will stay nice and flat on a table uh, and this one have a little kind of like a also kind of looks like a legs that can stay nice and flat without wobbling back and forth so we will have a beautiful design oh this is so cute uh, with this kind of design you can use it as a soap holder for example for your bathroom uh, you can keep this as a jewelry holder in your bedroom maybe a night table when you go to bed you want to undress yourself like at home i don't like to wear any uh, jewelry i like to have a hand free that's why probably you don't not you're not seeing me too often with jewelry in my hands even for the video i like to be uh, free if i go out yes i can wear but this is definitely very very good quality uh designs of the mold uh if you can pinch a little hole drill later on you can use them even as a decorative pieces for your christmas tree um yeah many many uses for this you can have and they are beautiful next pack we also have an under sea world all right we probably will be do demo on some like a little project like this one for example uh, or the other one whatever quick to dry or pure hold on where is the opening okay okay sorry sorry lots of squeaks i know i did not want to pull them out by myself because i wanted to have a first impression together with you as i open in them so i don't pick a boo before that all right, so now this one, um, I would say much thinner silicone, but because it's a deeper kind of design and it's, it's, it's nice and stable as well because it's a, like just a little shapes, so nothing can go wrong with it. 
and you can see that we have in here uh, sea star uh, some uh, fish probably the one that like a yellow with, with the black stripes looks like that's the fish I don't know what's the name for it. Uh, dolphin turtle what is the octopus uh, jellyfish uh, the um, Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Stainry and the seahorse. Did I mention them all correctly? I think so. Uh, they nice and shiny on the inside, so your molds will be always like nice and glossy looking. That's the back end for it. And this is pack of two, I believe, together. Since they pack together. Okay, this one we have to rip because it's a sealed bag okay I did not expect for this hold on I do have a scissors here somewhere we'll get to it okay oh no so this one is uh, other type of animal so they are not both under the water designs they always attempt to stick hard okay there so this one we have um, let me put that one aside now this one we have okay like this so it's all faced towards you um, let's see, we have a penguin, lizard, frog, uh, snail, bird, uh, hummingbird, uh, what is this? This is puppy, let me look towards me, oh squirrel, this will be squirrel, yes. Now I see when I look in the camera, that's cute. And what I'm thinking, uh, tell me if this would be kind of great idea. For example, popping this one, if you can make in a hole in a little chain, could be nice, kind of like an accessory for the puppies or keychain you can make it. Also, they are nice sizes to create, uh, not very thick resin, but create as a magnet for your fridge, uh, needle miner, um, just a different kind of if you have a little kids it would be good like a play game to teach them different kind of animals so this one again uh, perfect condition resin uh, for the resin silicon mold looks like it's going to be nice and shiny would be very easy to demold it will be easy to work with as well so I don't know um, or this one or the sea which one would be good for a little demo so it's cure quicker because they are not very big uh, molds so it would be faster like 12 hours usually 48 hours curing properly but we can skip maybe and demold a little bit earlier well that's why I recording this video a little bit earlier so I have a time to to do this tutorial okay great looking uh, silicone molds love it now we're going to go to a little bit okay let me just pick up what no I thought I have somebody by the door okay no not yet now we have a little bit bigger molds this one is a shelving looks Okay, let me open, then I will talk. Looks very nice on the website, I have to say. I don't know how much we are going to see right now, but now for the bigger designs like this, I would say this silicone mold is too thin. It's flimsy and the walls, of course, not gonna stay and, and hold the shape. You see how it's, okay, you have to look through this one. Uh, you see how it's wobble it's not straight as supposed to be so that's why this uh, particular mold when it's a bigger size they should print them with the thicker silicone to have 
edge and here more supportive. So when I will be working with this silicone, I would have to use somewhere, uh, somewhere kind of to support to push maybe like a cardboard or piece of wood to press kind of together so these walls won't be sticking out but kind of push them on the inside to create a straight wall and not wobble because the more resin you pour it will be like keep flapping back uh, plus by like this side is nice and straight but because of the shape and I guess it's a little bit got um, this shaped so I will have to keep it in some kind of even like a make a box or something or put maybe something like a clay to support in here otherwise it's not going to work and this is two pieces they are together in here so it's a good kind of a stable piece this one will work so these pieces go you see this uh, uh, opening here so it basically this kind of like a hold in a shelf and so when I uh, post the link if you click on the link and you will check it out you will see that this is very cute shelf and to display maybe your nail polishes your makeup your whatever for kids something even to put later some little frame on it because this is the base and this is supposed to be um, I can figure out right now but this is like to hold to hold your shelving like on the bottom you know what I mean so this is one of them look uh, one of this in newest uh, silicone molds in the store and now the most the most exciting <laughs> part of this that I really uh, was excited to see it came to the store it's the cotton board shape because when you see in the tutorials on the internet of this beautiful design that people create and I already have in my mind as well what to do as a sea ocean kind of with all those little tiny rocks that I collected by the lake or sea glass um, to create beautiful like um, a lake beach thing uh, you can put right now collect some uh, fall leaves colors leaves that fallen off the tree and look at that that's a pretty good size you can put names in here you can use even like sand flowers dry uh, over summer I try to dry some roses some uh, some flowers so I can use on a winter for my project I still plan to uh, planning to collect more uh, flowers and leaves uh, to dry for my project future but this one is looking good uh, same thing though I think this uh, particular silicone should be a little bit maybe more thicker which this one looks thick but I think it just because it was folded no it, it coming back to shape I have to say because when it was in a packaging see how like it's okay how long we've been without focus when the packaging is kind of like you see this side is flipping so I thought it will be deformed but when I'm looking at right now it kind of it's getting back to normal shape so this is great uh, when I will store them of course I will store them flat so they're not gonna go damage and deform so when I'm ready to create some project this is such a good idea like for a Christmas gift for the birthdays oh man I love this one okay awesome so now we already saw all the project now let me get ready everything uh, what I need I need to think which design I will work with first just to create some little 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 demo <laughs> to have some fun in this unboxing uh, and I have so many more beautiful uh, molds to create some project so let me get ready and we are going to experiment together with you let's get some magic started I already mixed two parts of resin off the camera so we get some quicker time in here have to mix very very thorough I'm using, I'm going to tell you what I'm using. I'm using 
uh, amazing clear cast. I got that uh, this resin at Michael's store. All right, I have a whole bunch in here. Accessories, not sure yet what I'm going to use. Um, this one just the extra if I need. I brought with me the sister. If only I can find how to open in my gloves. Okay. Okay. I have a sea star and I have a seashell. We will try today this too. Nothing fancy, something something quick. I have some ink, alcohol ink if I need to use it. Uh, I have some Juice pick. I have some uh, mica. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not yet. We'll see. And I also have a whole bunch of uh, glitters in here. Did I just chip my box? Oh well. Okay. We'll see what we're going to use. Uh, hopefully enough light from window only and I have a sea glass that I found by the beach so I think I'm going to use them on a sea star for the seashell what I want to use um, well there's still we're gonna mix a little bit more what I want to do I want to have pink pink mica and blue mica Maybe this green kind of, hold on, uh, I will have this, this too today. I have a video review about this mic a long time ago. So I will try to mix a little bit right in my mold. Let me open both of them. And what I will do is, I have a little tiny scoop in here. I will put some in here, not sure how much I need, maybe that's good, and then I want to have some of this blue, this is very pretty turquoise color, let's see how much we need, okay important thing not to spill it so what i want to do i want to do like a ombre that's maybe even too much i'm not sure maybe too much when i do i want to do this side is greenish Just rub it in those creases. Well, actually, on a, on a video, I think you can see very well. I might put a little bit too much. That's okay. I'm going to probably dust it out a little bit. Um, just um, kind of give it all maybe excess. I don't know. This is good enough to leave this behind. We're we just going to leave it. It's going to dissolve anyway, I think. Or should we clean it? Clean it. Hold on. I have this little tiny cup. I'm just going to get a little bit excess away from here. Now, for this one, I think I will put this C glass just like this random. I want to see what's going to happen with them. Okay, I should put the later a little bit, but that's okay. Just like that. Simple. Uh, I don't want to do nothing too much fancy. But from my, uh, from my resin, I always like some glitter. So I will add very, very fine glitter. Very fine glitter. Maybe... 
actually I will add this one flaky it's a very light glitter it's not heavy but it's like a snow um, yeah I would love to have that do I uh, no <laughs> I changed my mind hold on we will we will start with the very very fine glitters okay that should do we'll see what happens this mixing tool from one day saving as well I have that a long time ago with the mix like it's a bunch of tools together you can purchase up there it's good because you can multi-use easy to clean if you have a leftover of the resin in a cup later it's easy to clean it with the pack and tape just to tap it with the sticky side and all the excess of resin will be get it out okay so do we see some sparkles not much maybe it's not enough but We'll see some little flakes okay that's good enough for now for here uh, and then what I want to do um, I will be using the ink in here but first I need to pour some resin I might will do just like with this little let's uh, I don't know if I can if I want to touch it right now camera or not make sure it's go under my glass I should put glass later but that's okay I know it's going to be swim around we can mix it to get that up there my glass make this one too tall I'm not sure if this will even visible or not to get all the way right now with lots of bubbles in here we will get rid of them right in here in my shell this one will be just a pretty ombre color I did not check this table on a level so hopefully it's okay and it's not gonna spill or I will have to find a quickly place that is more straight Let's see. You have to follow instruction on your resin. Some resin could be cured very fast. Some 24 hours, some 48 hours. So you follow what you have on the packaging what it says for you okay I will leave this one like this not certain if my table is straight or not okay uh, before I leave like this uh, I definitely will do with my heat gun I have in here heat gun we have to give it a bubbles just a quickly run not staying on one spot because we don't want to burn it I'm still going to use more in here but what I want to do right now I will drop some ink in here
Okay. Okay, now let's do some yellow. Pretty. Now I will add more resin because it's definitely not enough. Very simple this design. Uh, I will get one time. I have a whole bunch of dry flowers and some other stuff. Okay, doesn't catch a hair corner. I wanted to use a toothpick to mix these colors, but to be honest, they already mix kind of nice. Just want to make sure I have enough of the resin okay uh, you can use toothpick to kind of swirl ink whatever you want to mix it to make it a little bit of the swirls to mix two inks together So it's not so sharp lines. Get a little bit of the blue color up there. The yellow pull in here. Just like that. It's so much fun to play this way. Okay. I will leave this for right now and come back. Um, come back uh, kind of shortly to when it's maybe dry a little bit to see if I need uh, more of the resin in here. I will give it of the bubbles more. At the same time heat gun can push a little bit ink in the direction you need. Uh, I see some more in here. If you have a torch it's easy to do with that. Okay, uh, I have an extra mold in here obviously i make way too much i want this to do this crystal uh, what i have in here so what i will do um i want to do let's do some purple mica a little bit in here to create some special effect i can't remember now I, oh maybe this one i can't remember where i got this one but I have lots of um, lots of molds from One Day Savings. Check out their collection; they are amazing. So I want to do this, and of course I will add more of them just to wrap it all the way on the inside. And I will add okay, I will have to be careful. I will add some ink. Um, should I put now or later? Let's try the small small. We will need just a little bit. And I want this to be purple. So I will add ink in here. Oh, it's not going to be purple. Okay, I thought I got a purple. Oh, well. 
it's going to be different it's not going to be purple uh, let's put maybe blue a little bit just to make it interesting not sure what kind of color that will make us okay now I will add more resin into here and hopefully all oh, that will mix nicely all right that's full now is it we have to tap it make sure it's go into those creases up there okay this look good uh, this look a little bit sad I would say okay now I have all over me ink I'm going to wipe a little bit in a napkin I think I will add a little bit more uh, character into my shell in here by adding now those um, beautiful mermaid blue glitters and I will use very tiny bit I will use the same scoop actually and just kind of sprinkle on the top in here where I have blue this glitter usually a little bit heavy probably will sink to the bottom more likely it's still going to be pretty okay and and then I will add another glitter I need a pink glitter now do I have a flaky uh, something oh I have this one flakes this kind of flakes let's add to the pink area never used this one yet I think with the resin so it's always nice to experiment okay now I have to do it you know what I need to do it I have lots of resin in here so I guess I will get more we will move we will do more. oh I see big bubble appear in here so it's a good idea to kind of tap it and before it's too late get rid of it usually it's a good idea to give it a bubbles like right inside in here which I will do this right now a little bit because it's getting thicker okay now we are going to pull out our other mold that we um, unpack with you why not right let's get this push aside a little bit it's going to be a front of you but i hope it's all right uh, let's do this uh, creatures of the sea we need to use up our mold there so i will add more of the glitter in here i want this to be more sparkle so I will add this flaky now. I really have to use up this resin quickly before it gets too thick and I will be not able to do anything. This video will be longer, but I hope it's okay with you. Okay. ready let's do it let's 
let's do it. We are going to okay, can you see yeah? We're going to pour in all this the further you hold in there, it will go thinner and those bubbles will break better. Okay, let's just distribute around next. Ooh, that went fast. Okay. This creature. Seahorse. See how much. Okay, definitely I am not doing a good job in here by pouring it thin. I'm trying to speed up because I don't know how much time I have left the resin to get hardened. Okay, I need more in here. Turtle. Yeah, I should do 50 plus 50 of the mixture I did 100 plus 100 because you have to mix equal parts I thought the shell and the star will take a much more resin so always be prepared to get ready more of the molds just for in case you mix too much of the resin you have to have prepare extra molds because some resin cure very quickly and you're not going to have too much of the time later to look around okay we are still good on the timing in here okay Lots of air bubbles. I will pop them a little bit right now. At the same time, we will get to those creases. Okay, time run out, but we're not done yet. Okay, so I brought more ink. Let's see. Um, there's a turtle in here. Let's make it colorful. We're gonna use some of these inks that I didn't use for ages, and we will see what we can do. Okay. Uh, what else we want? A little bit of the fishy. Um, star, maybe a little bit on a seahorse. This one, no, this one, not okay. Isn't that fun or what? Uh, this one, I want to make it uh, in this color. This one will be opposite. Oh, the seahorse. Oh, there. That's it for this color. Uh, purple. I want to have a purple on my... That's the purple I was looking for.
that's too much that's okay you are always right remember that uh, what's this one some kind of green or yellow darker green Blue, I need blue for a dolphin. I want a little bit on this creature. Okay, let's let's try. I try to mix a little bit because we're running out of time maybe Make sure go all to this little tiny bits. Are we having fun? Are we having fun or what? Not sure if this turtle came out not like I wanted, but anyway, it's green. Okay. All right, this looks good in here. Look at that. Okay, this patches I don't like in here. I'm going to oh nothing on a nose in here. Mix it. Okay, I really need to blow a little bit more in here. Get the ink a little bit distribute as well. Okay, so because I have more resin, I still have some resin in here. What are we going to do? Let's do a little bit more. Oh, how are we gonna do it? Okay, let's. Oh, okay, ink. Thank goodness it's closed. I'm going to. Move this to this. Okay, I need to get the, my hands all sticky. Okay, I, I cannot touch nothing. And we are in here on the top of my diamond painting, actually. Okay, I need to pull out another design. I have to take off my glove because it's going to be very messy. Okay, just a minute. Be patient. I got one more in here. Okay. Okay, you will see. We will put in here on a puppy. I will try to work now with one glove since I already take it off one. Okay. Hopefully, don't get my hands too messy. Yes, I will have it hands messy. Okay. I want to go into the puppy.
penguin. That's going to be lots of molds. A squirrel because it's lots of will take it. A hummingbird. I hope I'm still on camera. Okay. I feel like I still can have one more it might be will be a little bit after view for you in this bird i hope you can see yeah i think i have enough i think i might have enough maybe i don't i don't know let's try it resin is getting thicker always thin la layer even if it's not going to be enough to fill in it's going to be thinner mold if so scrub it up yeah it's getting thicker so time is running out all right now I'm going to leave this to dry and later easy to clean when it's dry so I'm just going to put maybe maybe well I'm gonna leave in here because this is silicone mat so it work better for that uh, let me give it some of the bubbles at, at the same time reactivate my resin a little bit to warm up And we will do just uh, the same thing because the time is running out. Um, I'm going to take it off my gloves right now. I will sprinkle maybe a little bit glitter to my hummingbird in here. And I'm just literally going to do my, uh, my hands because she is very pretty. I should mix it but okay the penguin need to be blue I am going to add a little bit of this very flaky beautiful glitter to my penguin sorry for the motorcycle running around the street okay and then what we're we going to do for a puppy he i think this puppy is a golden retriever we have to make him gold i'm going to sprinkle gold glitter and i did mess up on my squirrel so the squirrel will be gold too because it fell a little bit of glitter in here And 
why not to have a little bit on the bird to make her more dramatic okay I'm going to be all sparkly and now to the penguin I will add some blue ink hopefully not to dye my fingers quick mix when you mix in a cup lots of color then it's kind of you have to use that this way to me it's better way because I can mix a whole bunch of colors right without wasting too much of the um, of the resin I feel like I should mix a little bit this glitter because it feels like it's gonna sit on the top because the resin is thicken okay you can speed up video if it's too long for you now we have to wait till it's dry and do a reveal video that should be exciting uh, I will do one more time since I mix it one more time whatever bubbles left You know what, I feel like I need for my golden retriever a little bit yellow ink because he's going to be our... Well, that's not golden retriever duck, but we will pretend it is. Just a... Well, maybe squirrel as well of her tail at least. Do we do on a bird? <laughs> it's all improvis improvise, you know, quickly. Uh, where is my stick? Okay, we're gonna get a new one. Okay, that's it. Now I will wait till it's all dry. I will cover in here uh, to see. Okay, do I have a little spot in here? I will cover so no dust land in here. Feel like some spots didn't went through. Unless when I move the resin move. Okay. All right. Uh, I will be back with you when it's all done and we will demold together the best part. And now it's the moment of truth. Let's see what we have in here. I had a scare a little bit because my resin didn't cure for a long time. And I was start to think that my resin was expired maybe and it's going to be all messed up. But thankfully, after probably more than 48 hours, it's actually cure. And we will try to demold them uh, just for in case. I'm going to put gloves just to keep uh, hands clean because it is toxic material. But anyway what should we start <laughs> should we start with this uh, cute little designs let me put aside this two for now so it's less in our vision in here and I can zoom close so we can see better so first is a 
star. Let's see what we will have. Well, demold is really nice and easy. Coming out nice and clean. So here is what we have. And this is the side. So obviously I cannot see the glass that we put because <laughs> it should be like maybe clear. So I cannot see the um, lake or we call it sea glass inside. But it is a lovely, lovely star decorative piece. I don't know what can be used for, but that's what we have for now. Next one. Next one, let's, let's demold this one. Uh, the glitter kind of gathered to the center. <laughs> uh, maybe when I was moving away for the more stable table. Um, but let's see if we have the mica powder shimmer on the other side or not. Okay, definitely mica came out nice and clean from the mold. I love this mold. And now let's flip it. Yeah. Oh, look how nice the glitter shimmer from underneath in here. But I don't see as much as a shimmer. Shimmer kind of, uh, I should like give it of excess fully. Look, I can see the chunks of the mica. But I love how that a holographic glitter shining through. And this one side nice and clean. This could be like even like a jewelry dish to hold something or just piece decorative like this. Okay, next one. Um, I will demold right now. Okay, I'm going to put back um, in here this one is not from one day saving but i i just decided to try because i never tried before this is like to create the uh, crystals uh this one i got from michael's my local store here in niagara falls canada so let's just see if this work or not to create that beautiful shine that's supposed to be hopefully I don't know. I put mica inside. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not sure about that. But there. Okay. What do we have in here? Yeah. It definitely looks shimmer, but not as crystal clear. I might have to put later a resin on the inside to make that shine. But that's like a beautiful stone crystal look like okay so that was just like an extra uh, now we are going to see this little uh, puppies and different kind of animals so this one is completely clear with some glitters how can I show you maybe I can I don't know to flip the camera or what so here is one Here's the hummingbird. This side and then we have this glitter side. Looks beautiful with that glitter, isn't it? That glitter is nice. Uh, it would be good to have something colorful in here to look through. I don't know, mana green maybe not as pretty. Now squirrel. zoom out further here a squirrel <laughs> this swirls also glitter kind of gather to the centers a little bit that's okay but it's nice and glossy looks pretty okay I'm just going to put them back in here now puppy Let's see this doggy here, this side. That's cute. 
Okay. And the penguin. And the penguin. Here is the penguin with the holographic glitters. Like it. Okay, next one. One more. This is the fun part. Should be, hopefully, looks awesome on the other side because we were using all those beautiful inks. So let's start with this star. Very easy to demold, and I didn't even spray with demold, um, like no spray whatsoever. So, yeah. That glitter, like I like this side kind of better because nice and shiny. This side, the, well, the glitter, glitter kind of flakes make it like a less shiny. I don't know, but it's still beautiful. Horse. Okay, 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 okay. Coming out, coming out, coming out. Okay, there. One piece of glass. This one is just a static. Okay. Fishy, can we demold without breaking this little tail? Oh yes, we can. Wow, well, all right, that looks wonderful. Look at that. And the sun would be nice and shiny. I don't even have a light in here. We are in the basement right now. Maybe I will have to show you them in some other video or create like a short video on Instagram. Uh, we'll go outside on the sun so we can see. Here's the fish. Yeah, I should mix some more to the edges ink, but this is just a unique way to have. Plus it was just like a quick, quick demo tutorial to test it out the molds and they um, really nice quality molds. Uh, I do have an air bubble in here. You see when kind of true, I can put that of the resin later when I will work some with other um, with other project to fix a bubble. That's what we have right now. The dolphin. Yeah, it feels like the snowflakes uh, glitter not very shiny in here. Okay, two more to see and we can finish this video. This is going to be extremely long video. Okay, you have to be careful not to break this one. Okay, let's maybe start with turtle first because I need them more careful with the other one. I can make it like a magnet from this one, just to glue some magnets as a needle minders even. Here is the turtle. <laughs> can make like a charm or something. How's the decoration? Okay, now I have to be very careful with this. Okay, to get the little plastic centers without ripping it hopefully Ooh. come on come on come on come on we're almost there almost there just to push it a little bit down one more piece hopefully not to break it there we're done 
Wow, okay, that's pretty. That is pretty. Okay, so this is just a simple way quickly to create them. I hope you like this video. Give me thumbs up and please comment. Tell me what you think about this. And we have lots of interesting stuff in here. <laughs> I can play around and create something. So thank you for watching. Check out the links under my video, all these cute projects. And purchase the molds if you like them. Now I just have to clean them from the thing and it's easy to clean literally just coming out everything like this and I just will get out of this dry pieces from there well thank you for watching I will see you later